Hi, this is Jenna from the Inclusion Collaborative, and today I'm going to show you how to make this ice cream poppet. And I just want to give a shout out to Girl Crafts on YouTube. I found a lot of inspiration because she has so many great fidgets that you can make with things that you probably have in your home. And I happen to be a crafter and I have lots of crumbs foam sheets. So here are all the pieces that I need and I'm going to put a link in the notes about to my Cricut design space because what I did was I designed just out of circles and triangles um, my little shape for my ice cream cone and then the circles that fit the right size and then all you need to do from there is cut out sheets I think these are three by three. If you want a lot of space to work with, you could do a three by three. I think this is two and a half by two and a half. I'll show you how to make this poppet. And the poppet, I just use a glue stick cap and a bouncy ball. I use the glue stick cap just to hold the bouncy ball and I'll show you why. Let me move some of these things. So I'm gonna take my straightening iron. I have this mini straightening iron. I have no idea where I got it. But, and I've never used it at home before because I think it's too small for my hair, but it's perfect for this craft. So I like to leave the edges or the corners cold so that I can take the corners and pull down. And then I just twist and then I pull down from the other corners until I have my little poppet. So there's the first one. And then what you do with your scissors from here is you just go around, you leave a little bit on the, on the edge because that's what you're going to glue gun. You're going to use a glue gun. I think it, you can use tacky glue if you want to. You just have to wait a little bit longer. But if you're doing this with students, maybe you do want to use tacky glue if you're not letting them or if you don't have a lot of hot glue guns for them to use or you're not letting them use the hot glue gun. Although in the makerspace, I like to do student badges. So once they earn their glue stick badge, they are free to use the glue stick. And then if you go turn it over to the other side, there it fits perfectly. And you're gonna just glue gun that around. Maybe I should have made a little bit more. So here, let me show you my next one and I can show you how I make up for the small piece around the edge that I left for the purple. So let's heat up the blue. I guess it doesn't take that much heat. As long as you know it's pretty warm, you can form it around, twist, and then form it around. Just keep twisting. Once it starts to get cold, then it's harder to form, but there it is. Now to do my second shape, I know I cut it maybe a little too close with this purple one, so now I'm just going to go around it a little bit more. See if this is going to be good enough or maybe it's too much. But those are my blue and my purple pieces and I can just test this out. This one's gonna go on one of the sides. And you can also see there I could probably turn it right there and actually if you know already Maybe I'll skip to this part so you can see the hot glue part. I will take my glue gun and then I like this to do half of a circle and then glue it. And then turn it around and then I glue the other half of the circle. Oops, sorry. which I see I need a new blue stick. Okay, here we go. All right, so you're gonna go through and you're gonna do that with all three different colors until you have this. And once you have all three colors glued on, then you can go through and you're gonna glue each of the rings on the front and then just to make it look clean on the back, you can glue it on the back as well. And then 
Same thing with your ice cream cone piece. But before you do that, you might want to draw, if you want to draw lines for your ice cream cone, you can. And then when it's finished, it will look something like this. And once you know how to make the ice cream, you can think of any shapes that you want so you can go ahead and design your own.